Okay, other techniques. Um, well, yeah, if you want to, you can build your entire drum track using an electronic drummer. Okay, but some people like working with MIDI notes, building their own custom drum patterns with MIDI notes, either on an instrument track or on an external MIDI track to trigger external hardware. But even if you are building your own drum patterns with MIDI notes, we can still use the electronic drummers in the editor as a tool to help us. Let me show you. For example, let's make this two bars long. Zoom in. Okay, let's say I'm doing a house track and I'm building my drum patterns from scratch custom built drum patterns using MIDI notes, but I'm really rubbish at making high-end shaker and hat, tambourine, high-end stuff, swing, 16th, house, club type patterns. I'm just no good at it, or I'm really lazy because it's quite laborious to build those high-end type swinging 16th patterns. So I'm going to use the drum editor to do it for me. Right? Um, I'll set the complexity to full. Okay, no fills. I've got the swing here, 61% 16th swing on there. No phrase variation, no humanize. Okay, now I'm going to have the kick in, but I'm going to restrict it down just to do four on the floor like that to keep time. And now I can go through on the, with the drummer Julian and try all the different high end shaker and hat patterns. Yeah. Until I find one I like. Yeah. And remember, of course, I can I can further tweak the pattern I've chosen slightly by adjusting the complexity range of the shaker or the hat. I could try the phrase variation, although it, although it doesn't do very much over just a two-bar drumming region. But you know, I find a, a high-end shaker hat swing type pattern I like. There we are, number two. That's fine. Now I'm working on an instrument track, building my custom drum patterns with MIDI notes. So let's get the instrument track together. Soft instrument. There we go, and. This can be any drum software, uh, if, but if I want, it can also be a drum machine designer. Yes, the drum machine designer is the default instrument kit on the electronic drummer's tracks, but it also can be put on a regular instrument track. So here's my instrument track, go to the library, drum machine, drum machine designer, and I'm gonna put the same after party kit on this instrument track that I have here on the drummer track with Julian, okay? So here's the um, little shaker and hat pattern with the four on the floor kick keeping time that I made with the editor here. And now I just hold down Alt, drag this drumming region, a copy of it onto the instrument track, boom, and it gets converted to MIDI. Let's just change its color. Okay, so this is a MIDI version of this. They're identical, and they're both playing the same kit. Okay, this is the drumming version with the drummer editor. And this is the converted to MIDI copy playing the same kit they're identical but it's now being converted to MIDI notes and if we look in the editor down here look how complex that sh the shaker and hat pattern is imagine trying to build that by hand <laughs> I mean it's a laborious process even if you know what you're doing there are four rows here there's the shaker and there are three hats an open hat and a pedal hat and a closed hat and imagine if you had to build this from scratch by hand you've got all the sixteenths of the pattern which 16th do you put notes on? And for every 16th where you do add a note, which of the four high-end shaker or the three hat rows does it go on? It's a really laborious process building these high-end swing shaker and hat type and tambourine and other other high-end stuff patterns. But we did it using the editor, quickly converted it to MIDI, and here it is. And now with this as our high-end pattern converted in MIDI, we can now build the rest of the pattern for the kicks, claps, snares, other percussion drums under this high-end pattern to get the custom patterns we want to go with this high-end shaker and hat pattern. Yeah, we we'll just carry on building our drums on the MIDI track. We now don't need the drum track anymore, we just mute it. We used it just to do a job. Now we can carry on building our patterns using this shaker and hat as the basis, right? Um, you can go a bit further with that if you want. Uh, for example, let's go back to the drummer here now Julian doesn't have a tambourine in his high end. He's only got this cymbal as the third drum. What if I want a tambourine in this pattern as well? Okay, well what I can do now is I'll change the drummer to Leia. One of the drummers with a tambourine. There, she's got a tambourine look. So I'll isolate just the tambourine. Just the tambourine playing, no fills. Put the same 61% 16th swing on that the shaker and hat pattern here has, right? 
complexity up full and um, no phrase variation and now I can just go through all of Leia's tambourine patterns listening to the time this is just the tambourine on the drum track here and we'll hear it playing over the top of the shaker and hat pattern that's been converted to MIDI and let's see what Leia's got for tambourine lovely and, and they all work like that choose any of those patterns to go with my shaker and hertz so yeah I'm gonna go go with this pattern five or maybe pattern um, four with the doubles yeah I'll go with that one okay and now I need to get this drumming region the tampering pattern into this MIDI shaker and hat and kick pattern so all I do is just alt drag off a copy of this tampering pattern drop it down onto the instrument track it gets converted to MIDI there it is just bring that last swing note inside the region come on get in there okay now if I highlight both regions there they are in the drum register there's the original pattern shaker hats and the four on the floor kick to keep time here's the new tambourine pattern okay but it was this tambourine pattern was created on layers kit where this voice is a tambourine on the current kit We've got on this instrument track, this voice is a shaker. So the tambourine pattern here is on the shaker's row. So all I do is there's a tambourine pattern. It begins on the first, second, third, sixteenth of the first bar. I just highlight all the tambourine notes, bring them up, find a drum I don't mind changing like that, boink, sound like that, then bring the pattern in. And it begins on the first, second, third, sixteenth. And there it is, triggering this boink sound. Like that. Okay, now we don't need this empty region here anymore. Okay, so we've brought the tambourine pattern in. And all we've got to do now is change this sound to a tambourine. So I select the instrument track. Here's its channel, strip in the inspector column at the top. There's the instrument. Boom. Drum machine designer. Open it there. And um, here's all the sounds for the kit on the instrument track. There's the boink sound. So I select it. Yeah, there it is. And with this pad selected, I go here to the library and change it for a, a tambourine, which is in shakers category. There's the tambourines here, three of them. I've got that tambourine, or this bigger one, or this smaller one. Or I could change it for any other sound. It doesn't have to be a tambourine. I could change it for something else, but I'm going to um, keep it with the tambourine. I'm going to go with that bigger one like that. And now I've got a tambourine playing it. Mute the drummer track, don't need that anymore. And here's the whole pattern now. And if I want to, I actually will just slightly lower that tambourine in level. Just bring it down a bit. Yeah, and there's my new, imp you know, augmented high-end pattern. It's now got a tambourine. I've got sh shakers and hats and a tambourine as well. And if I wanted to, I could do extra things like the tambourine here. It's a pair of hits, a pair of hits, a pair of hits all the time. Two, 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 two. And a louder and a less loud hit. So where every time there's a loud hit for a tambourine, below that I could knock the shaker out. So below this one, I knock the shaker out. Below that, knock the shaker out. And yeah, below that, knock the shaker out. Below that, knock the shaker out. Gives me a slightly different pattern. I've knocked the shakers out now every time there's a loud tambourine. Etc. Okay, so you can do all that stuff. You can use the drum editor as a tool to help you get patterns together in MIDI form and then carry on. Like you can then build on, on that by putting in your own custom kick, clap, or whatever uh, other drum sounds to, to build your patterns in MIDI. Okay? Using the drummer editor as a tool to help you build patterns in MIDI.